Well, if you suffer from being a perfectionist, you may also suffer from being disappointed quite a bit as well. Ruth Teets, the director of marketing at Baptist Health Nursing and Rehabilitation Center with us today with some tips on how to become a reformed perfectionist especially when it comes to caring for a loved one. This is a great topic. I mean, know a lot of people who just want to get it all right, and sometimes you just can't. Absolutely, especially when you're dealing with a loved one. You want it to be perfect. But, you know, it's wonderful in theory, but in reality, it's not. Because perfect according to who and what standards? This caretaking thing is very complicated, so you really need to make it about your needs and the person you're caring for. Good enough really needs to become part of your vocabulary and know that just showing up sometimes is really what that person you're helping is looking for. All right, what's a realistic uh I mean, standard that you could live with? Well, I think that you really need to keep your eye on the prize. For instance, if you go over with a goal in mind of today I'm going to clean out the refrigerator, get rid of the expired food, go grocery shopping, prepare food, stick with that. Don't, you know, strip the bed, don't worry about shopping for other things. Stay on task, and that way you won't start a whole bunch of different things and have nothing accomplished at the end of your time and be frustrated, nor will the person you're caring for. And are there any resources out there? Because I think this is an important topic that people might be able to use. The good news is there's a ton of resources. Um, two good ones. Um, if you do a web search on your local office uh, county of the aging um, services, that's a great place to start. Also, the Alzheimer's Association of Northeastern New York has some great resources. And if you're really confused and not finding what you're looking for, give us a call at Baptist. We'd be glad to help you and direct you um, in a, a route that'll help you not be such a perfectionist and get the job done well anyway. That sounds great. Thank you, Ruth, very much. And let's give everybody that phone number. We've got it on the screen here, 370-4700. That's Bapt Health. Then you can reach them on the web at bapthealth.com.